It's a cool fall day out there. It's windy and the leaves are all going like crazy. I love it. Anyway, good morning everyone. I hope you're doing well today. In today's video, we're going to be focusing on making this shape. It's kind of a vintage throwback to the 20s through the 40s, somewhere around there. And it makes a great label or a backdrop for a poster or Oh, I don't know. You can use it for cards, a lot of different things. We're not going to put it into a project today. We're just going to focus on making the shape. And we're going to look at Procreate tools and the different ones you can use to make this shape. In addition, we're going to be thinking about shapes just slightly differently and thinking about other things that we can do to make our shape. For example, we're going to be using a text element to make this shape. So let's go ahead and get to it. Okay, I have open here a 12 inch by 12 inch uh, canvas at 300 dpi, but it really doesn't matter for this project. It's just a size that I like to work in. And the first thing I'm going to do, this is kind of all about cheating to get your shapes. We're going to go over to our wrench and then we're going to tap add and then add text. And let's see, we're going to go ahead and select like Times New Roman or something like that. Something, a system font that um, we can use here that everybody would have. So let's see. Uh, that's fine times. There it is right there. Okay, and then we're going to uh, tap our little keyboard here and then we're going to press shift, shift again so that we can get our curly brace here. Okay, awesome. That's a great shape. And now we're going to uh, double tap that uh, text again and go back into style by pressing the A's there. And then we're going to dial up the size really big. Let's see, not max. I think somewhere around looks like maybe let's just type in 300 so if you tap that little guy and type in 300 you'll get it and then tap done okay and now I'm going to go over to my transform tool and I'm going to go ahead and select rotate 45 twice and then I'm just going to position this and one thing I have snapping on with a distance of three and that's just the default distance um, but that helps me know like if this is centered or not and that's kind of what I want to go for so I'm gonna let's see I don't care about centered that way but I do care about centered yeah interesting this is a little off center so you know what I'm gonna do just so I can keep an eye on that and actually work with this well uh, it's because of the baseline I think and that's totally fine but we're just gonna go in and uh, tap our wrench here tap canvas drawing guide and edit drawing guide and I'm gonna dial that grid all the way up and let's make this a little bit thicker so it's oops, you can see it a little bit easier Okay, and then tap done. Okay, and then I'm going to go over to my text here. I'm going to tap that layer, and I'm going to tap rasterize, which turns this from text, which I can now no longer edit as text, into an image. And now let's just see about this. Oh, now it's actually clipped around the side, so I guess I don't really need my my grid anymore. But since I have it, it's it'll help me. So, Okay, so now I've got this centered right where I want it there, and that looks pretty good. Okay. So the one thing I'm noticing though is that it's very big and it, so therefore, whoops, it has this square point and I want to have a nice, you know, a nice point on it. So I'm going to fix that and here comes the next cheat. So the first cheat, use text if there's a shape that you like in text. The second cheat is how to cut this the way you want it. So we're going to create a new layer. So we're going to go over here and tap above our uh, curly brace here. And then I'm going to select a color that I can, well, yellow is great. I don't know what I was doing there. So <laughs> anyway, yellow is a great color. And then I'm going to come over here and I'm just going to draw a circle in the shape of the part that I want to cut out here. And we're going to invoke smart shape. So we're going to draw a circle and hold until we get that smart shape. So I'm just going to kind of go from the point here all the way around like this and then hold. And then I'm going to tap edit shape. So that way I can really line up the curve the way I want to. So what I'm trying to do is kind of match the curve to a point and then come in. And I want to bring this all the way over. So whoops, so it's right on the line there. And then bring that back up so that we're, so that the curve will look very realistic. So we don't want to have a bump or something like that. So it kind of comes along like this. And then my ellipse sort of takes over right in there. And that's perfect. So now I can just tap out here somewhere. And then I'm going to go ahead and fill that ellipse. And then I'm going to uh, drag that layer. Whoops, whoa, okay. That's a new way of, <laughs> let's undo that. So I can show you, I didn't know it worked that way, actually. What I meant to do is drag this layer over and tap duplicate. And uh, whatever I did there, it did it anyway. So that's kind of cool. Um, now I'm going to go over to my transform tool. And I'm going to flip horizontally. And then I'm going to drag this over. And 
I want all the blue lines to line up so that I know that um, the things are positioned uh, equally across this line here. So, and now I'm going to take a little peek here, and it's going to make it's going to make a little bit of a a line down there. So I think I actually want to move things just a bit closer here. Okay, great. Now the gold line, because I have snapping, uh, was showing, in addition to the line showing, the blue lines that show that these, these two objects are aligned. So that's exactly what I want. Okay, perfect. So now, now that I've got those positioned where I want them, I'm actually going to go ahead and merge down. So that top layer going to merge down, and now these are one layer. And so now it makes it really easy then to select this layer. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to tap the layer and I'm going to tap select. And then I want to come down here and I'm going to make sure that color fill is not selected and it is not, which is perfect. So now I'm going to go over to my layers here and I'm going to tap this curly brace layer. And then I'm going to take three fingers and drag down and I'm going to select uh, cut from the copy and paste menu here. Okay. And now I'm going to make invisible my little cutting layer there and you can see it did a great job cutting that um, that shape there so it used to have you know that big block at the bottom but now it's nice and tidy which is great I love that so now I'm going to squish this down so I can see what I'm working with again all right and since I don't really need my grid anymore and it's kind of intrusive a bit I'm going to go ahead and turn that off so uh, tap our wrench canvas and then tap that drawing guide just to turn it off okay so the next thing I want to do is I want to create the box shape that's going to go with this. So I'm going to create a new layer just above my curly brace here. And then go back to black. And then I'm going to go over to my selection tools. And I'm going to select rectangle and color fill. And then about halfway, I'm just going to eyeball this one. About halfway, I'm going to draw my a, a, a rectangle. And I'm going to come out just a little bit, not too far, just a little bit. Something like that. Okay, and when I'm satisfied, I'm just going to go ahead and tap that selection tool. And now I just need to remove a little bit of that. And so I'm going to go back into my selection tools. I'm going to turn color fill off. And I'm going to select the ellipse tool. And I'm going to start out just a little bit taller and a little bit outside of this, this rectangle here. And create an ellipse. And I want to look for where the ellipse crosses over the corners. And I'm just trying to decide, is that... Is that big enough? Is that a, a nice enough like indentation there for the cut? Or do I want it to be bigger? I think I want it to be just a little bit bigger. So that means I need to make my ellipse a little smaller. So I'm just gonna go ahead and clear. And I'm gonna do this again. And so I'm gonna bring the size down just a little bit. And I'm gonna come in here and where they cross. And that's more, I, that's more obvious and I like that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and select that. And now I'm going to use that three finger drag again to invoke the copy and paste menu and I'm going to select cut. Awesome. Okay, so now with that shape, we're just going to go ahead and slide that gently over to the left and tap duplicate. And then we're going to come over to our transform tool and we're going to flip horizontally and we're going to move it till it's centered. Whoa, okay. Whoops, got the gold line. Okay, that's centered and now I can see I need to center this one. It's not quite centered. So let's go ahead and do that too. There we go, and hopefully there's no line. In, well, there's a there's a slight line. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose one of these and shove it just a little bit more over. So I'm going to select this one. And I'm just going to tap one finger. Well, actually twice. There we go. Whoop. And now it's it's gone. So that's great. Those two have now become uh, overlapped just enough. So I'm going to now merge this one above the the layer four. That's the top one. And I'm going to tap it twice and select merge down. Okay, so now we have this shape here, and I'm just not sure that I'm happy with where it's at, at the, just yet. So I don't know if I want it to go up, you know, up into the shape more or come down a little bit. Oh, I think I like it down just a little bit more. So just like that. That looks pretty good. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and create a duplicate. And then I'm going to go ahead and go to my transform tool, and I'm going to flip vertical. And now I'm going to bring this up. And I'm just kind of eyeballing this and seeing, like, eh, is it close? Um, and it looks pretty good. Um, that's right at the edge of the shape, and I don't really want it that high. I want it to kind of sink down in there, so whoops. But I want everything to be centered, so I'm looking for that gold line again, so there we go. Okay, that, that looks pretty cute. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and merge these all together. 
so going with the top layer there actually let's go to the very tippy top we don't need our cutting uh, layer anymore so I'm just going to slide it over and delete it and so and then I'm going to tap that layer 4 and merge down and tap again merge down okay so um, all of our layers because we started with a text layer we have this empty layer one that's fine but all of our layers are merged now so let's go ahead and add black in there so that they're all one color so just drag and drop that color just like that and just like that okay now our tag is done and so we can change the size if we want to by selecting our transform tool and then with uniform selected we can make this bigger or smaller and we can decorate it however we like um, but we're we're ready to go and that is the cheater's way to shapes i hope you've enjoyed watching this video and more than importantly i hope that your day is amazing